Throughout each Sever mission, you can find broken down callous robots that have their own lore. If you are going for the title for this season, you'll need to collect and listen to these, but otherwise they are great insight into what's going on with the Emperor himself. In this video, I'm going to play all the audio logs and then we'll discuss them afterwards with the new lore card. Callus is changing, and we as Guardians have been bamboozled. Enjoy. An uninvited guest slithers through the bowels of my Leviathan. This mechanical appendage is maintained poorly, unable to see the grandeur of your brave face. Come now, closer. Let me bask in you. Another trap? I keep you a distance. Our mission takes precedence. I can feel you there, light bearer. Our last encounter was hostile. I forgive you. Embrace me, and I will share such wonders with the Vanguard that your paltry light could never outshine. Allow me to open you, mind and body, as mine have been opened. Simply turn back and enjoy what is to come. You, you attempt to halt a cosmic performance that is beyond you, a beauty forged outside of your understanding. You struggle, as I did, a grub fattened on the lies of reality, writhing within a suffocating existence. But the silken walls of that cocoon are not a grave, little grub. They are petals, waiting to bloom. Soon, you will emerge to see the magnanimous arc of eternity unfurled before you, its story laid bare. You will understand what I understand. Our end is set. All that remains is the drama of our strife, the struggle to push open our walls. So, resist if you must. It is in your nature to defy, even against your own best interests. It will only hasten your revelation. This construct is coded in the same spores found aboard the Glycon. Ikora says they could connect consciousness through the darkness. Isn't it magnificent? The Leviathan was once my prison, but now we are one body. Its systems, my mind. Is that so? Mechanical function is compromised, Guardian. It's harmless. Don't let him stall you. I wouldn't dream of it. It is a unique delight to feel the Leviathan's inhabitants wriggling through my innards. And when you do battle across my steely flesh, mm, an unmatched sensation. Caress every dark reach you can find. In your futile journey, you will come to see things my way. You will lay down your arms and stay. On that night, I'll raise a chalice to your lips, and we will feast. To continue chasing pain when you could slumber in euphoria everlasting, that is a foolish endeavor, Guardian. Think of your commander. He mourns this woman you seek to exploit against me. Bring him to me instead. I will shower him with my blessings. Give him the power to see. 
long as he wishes. For I am benevolent. And that is only a taste of my generosity. A taste that extends to you as well. Eternity is what I offer. Consideration is all I ask. Oh, thank you for this gift, Guardian. We truly are friends, aren't we? Kaito has hunted me for so long. Now, to feel her rage burn through the underbelly, driven by Gaul's brutalism, it is intoxicating. Like the aroma of drippings hitting a crackling fire, an inescapable, primal draw. That is vengeance. Beneath me, as I ascend to peace. But still enjoyable to look down on. <laughs> In the latest entry, Propaganda, released in the Voices of the Haunted book, we see a message from Callus to his loyal subjects. Written by Scribe Amsat, it says this, My loyal subjects, the Guardians believe they have defeated your glorious Emperor. How foolish. They look at the bodies left in their wake and assume victory, at the blood and the oil that runs from the battlefields they have ravaged and assume the territory conquered. They are like the old cabal, sweeping over planets with no mind to the subjects that resist them. But I am not so cruel. The worlds I brought into our fold were showered in riches, given everything for their service as cabal, as you are now, as you will be each time you serve me. Some of you were born here. You are young, blessed by my hand with a life of celebrated battle and luxurious feasting. You fight with the veracity of veteran gladiators. You fight for your home, our home. I swell to call you my children. Others came to me from my traitorous daughter, who calls herself Empress even while I still draw breath. Such arrogance, such disrespect. You've seen her tuskless plans fail toward battle. You've watched her cast aside cabal tradition to bow to the city and their light. She fights alongside the very soldiers who slaughter your brethren, while I bend them to my will. Who is the true leader? The answer is clear, if only she had followed me as you do. Finally, exalted most of all, you elite few who have stood with their emperor from the beginning, who grew fat with strength in exile, we are blood. As you have shed for me, I will shed for you. My flesh, my riches, my goblets of royal wine. They are yours. You are honored above all, 
and when our new cabal stands before eternity, you will be among the first. I have heard the rumors whispered between you, my subjects, rumors fed to you by our enemies. Your hope that I have not been vanquished is well placed, for I am so very much alive. You fear that we are defeated, but nothing could be further from the truth. You wonder if I am a spirit, if I have become something beyond Cabal, if I have ascended like Acrius did when he cradled the sun in his grasp. Allow me to soothe your curiosity. Yes, I have become all you have imagined and so much more. The Guardians believe they hold victory, but soon they will see the truth that they have ignored with such determination. This road is long, but it only has one end. They serve to set my plan's solidity in the foundations of the universe. Their petty attacks, while tragic in their cost to my dear crew, cannot halt our purpose. So, my soldiers, I leave you this task. Hold the Leviathan. Show no quarter to those who would walk the halls of your home as invaders. It is your final task before you may be uplifted to sit beside me at the end. I do not promise that every cabal standing in the Leviathan will survive this journey, but under my loving watch, you will live and die in nothing less than greatness. What more can a warrior desire but an exciting life and a good death? Have I not given you both? From the mouth of Amsat, high scribe to the unbound Emperor Callus, who none can contain. Rejoice, praise Callus, who ascends for he keeps you in his mind, and there you will never die. So that card is very interesting. You can see Callus is comparing himself to something of a god, telling his current soldiers to hold the Leviathan and you will join him in paradise when all is said and done, a warrior's death. So Callus wants us to embrace him and he will share his secrets, these secrets he's been talking about for so long open our mind and our body to see as he has. He tells us that we are trying to face this cosmic battle that we don't understand, that the end is already set and we can't sway that. We can keep trying as guardians will, but the end goal is set, the final shape is there, I guess if you will, and all that remains is the drama in between. Using the egregore spores, Kallus has connected to the Leviathan and the pyramid ship, being able to speak through the darkness. In that last audio log, he explains that this is all he wanted, us to sever these nightmares, to infiltrate the Leviathan and help him on his journey to ascend to something greater. So Guardians, a lot going on here. Emperor Callus has kind of always been like this, you know, saying if we sit alongside him, he'll give us all this luxury and gifts. But in the end, he's been using the Guardians for entertainment and also to ascend to his higher goal alongside the Witness. If you'd like to see some more Destiny lore and mysteries just like this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.